welcome. If you're new on this channel, I recommend watching the previous video, but here's a short summary of what's going on with this project. In the previous video, we cloned the functionality of Eventide Split EQ with 3 per FX chain. Now we are doing the same with DDMF Meta Plugin. So we are splitting the incoming audio signal into transient signal and tonal signal. Then we equalize them both separately and then sum them back together. Here's how this patch works. We have a transient shaper here where we pull down the attack parameter. So this gives us the tonal signal. Then we mix the tonal signal with the original signal, but we invert the polarity. This gives us the transient signal. Then we feed these both signals in the pro queue where we can equalize them separately. After that, we will mix these back together and we will get the stereo signal. I've also added these two AB switches that work as a mute for the different signals. So if I press here, I can just listen to the transients. Let's try it. Now you can change the way the signal is split from just one plugin. And the sum of the signals always matches the input signal, no matter how the plugin is set. The EQ functionality works exactly the same as in the FX chain that we did earlier. The only difference here is that you of course need to open the Meta plugin first and then the Pro Q, so it's a little bit slower to use, like this. I was interested to test how this works with OX Sound Spiff as the transient shaper, because Spiff has similar FFT based transient detection than the split EQ. So I made a preset where we can change between Spiff and the transient shaper we used. So let's hear the transients. This is the kilohertz. This is the spiff. These are the settings I used. So no stereo link. And then long window, oversampling and high resolution. Also turned the sensitivity all the way up, DK halfway. And then removed all these EQ points. You can play with these settings to get more decay to high frequencies or low frequencies. Let's compare the sound between the original chain, the spiff version and the split EQ. These are the settings I used for split EQ. I think these are the best settings for this kind of full mix purpose. First, let's listen to transients. Now let's listen to tonal signal. Now I have set 10 dB transient boost to 5k for each of these versions. Let's hear how they sound like.
For all the Reaper users, here is how I changed the original FX chain to match this patch. We have a single transient shaper here that takes inputs one and two, like in here, and it outputs the signal from outputs five and six and three and four. So the five and six go directly to ProQ and three and four go to polarity inversion. Then we have a polarity control plugin that inverts the polarity of channels three and four. Then these outputs three and four and the original one and two go into channel down mixer. The down mixer outputs from outputs one and two the transient signal. And then there's a pass through for outputs five and six, which are these tonal signals. Then the signals go into Fab Filter Pro Q. And in the end, the down mixer plugin sums them back into stereo outputs one and two. That's it for the day. Feel free to ask questions about this in the comments below.